Hi, and welcome again with Umbraco Tutorials. Uh, we are doing part for today. So uh, the plan is for today is just doing the about page. So we'll try to do this page to be dynamic and we make the user to be able to change this text and the image. And I think there is one uh, link for videos here. So, uh, but before I start, I just I realized something. I found that the home page is uh, doing same as single page application. So the this all of them, they uh, they are in different page. So I just I wanna need I just need to clean it and make only the maybe crosser only with the this one with the footer only. Uh, I think it would be better. We don't need to make the home page too complicated. And even if you wanna add this stuff here, this one uh, it's the contact page. It just will be partial view and we put it here. Uh, so let's just me clean that one and we will start together. I think now it's look better. So I have just the crosser here and after that I have my uh, footer. So uh, the rest will there will be the about page and the menu and the reservation and the rest. So uh, let's jump to the about page. So if we look to the about page, it's similar to what we have done before. What let's we'll do it one more time. Uh, it will be maybe more practice. So the about page will be this section only. Uh, let's log in. So uh, in the about page, let's let's just give it a second just to see what exactly we have in the about. Let's close this one. Well, our template. This our template. Here just about page. Ah, oh, we did it from here. And let's back here probably. Okay. So this page again they have many stuff. We'll do this part. And this one maybe you can do it but not now. I wanna just show you uh, step by step to the rest. We can do the rest. Of course this one here will be a bit complicated. If you wanna make it dynamic, not uh, we need to I said I want to add new chef, so I add this stuff to be displayed here at the uh, how many shifts you have. So let's back again here. Uh, let's say I have image. Uh, let's say one the title and the rich text image, and the fourth one will be the uh, video links. Let's say. So let's back to currently we have nothing inside this one. Uh, we have the yeah good we have the content the page title and the content here mm, so let's copy that content from here and we we can put it inside this one but I don't know I can't see good I just was issue with the loading, so I put this text here. I say uh, welcome, save it. And this one already we have it, we can straight away add it to the code. If we back to Visual Studio to about page. Uh, what we can do at the top here again, I need to call my ice kit var. I said about just to call my parameter to what I already declare it so what you can say here we can cast it to uh, content model about and I say model that uh, load after this one what we can say here uh, let me okay we can we can do anything we like but let's go to I think here we have about what is about here. We can change here everywhere. I can see about. I can just replace it with the at uh, about page dot about title, and I can say home about page, and there is one here. 
and I can remove this one because I don't need it anymore. Let's delete this text. We don't need it. But here we'll add uh, add uh, about page that I think we call content or about content. That's great. So what we need now more? We need the let's call it uh, about uh, logo with about video so if we back to the back office here uh, so we need to add the new stuff we'll go to uh, settings under document types about page so I already have the content I can add the about logo I will add a media picker so I need only one image I can say uh, mandatory under that one I can add uh, about uh, video URL and we can add only string text here we just we need to add uh, the uh, you can add a video URL so I don't want them to add anything rather than URL so no numbers nothing so uh, let me make it uh, mandatory so here they have something validation you can say is it number or is it email or is it URL so that's nice thing so you can add HTTP or HTTPS with anything there uh, let me save then so I think that the most important things now we need this two only and let's build the models and we need to close and we go change the just give it three build and after that as I said we need to add the link so the link will be at about page dot we call it about e video URL it will come straight away string this one we don't need to care about it that much but the images as we said about that uh, will be about logo that URL don't forget this one so if we run it now and we'll see what will happen there so now we are on the website we can go to uh, about uh, you will have something here what they said to you unable to cast it why so here uh, what we can do oh, we have many ways to call the uh, attribute in uh, Umbraco if you are in the home page you can say because the home page will be the root if not on the home page and you want to call it something different if you remember we have uh, always I try to make my the all the attributes name with about title about uh, image logo about uh, ho uh, sorry I'll say a home title so I tried to make them always unique this one way this as I show you this before it was working with the home page but I don't want to make it now complicated to call the children of the root and to call many things I can straight away I can remove this one and I can call the mod any mod model direct. What's mean that direct? Just I can say model that about title, and I can say here similar model. Just I say model because the the name is uh, unique here, so I would not have any issue. Same here, and I call this one too. Uh, before they used to say uh, they said the current uh, page to call the the model but now I think you can call it in many ways 
and depend on what you are uh, calling or what you are using so if we back again I said as I remember here we have the image here add uh, let's say model that about logo that URL and what more we have I think the I know that one we need to change it I think yeah let's see what will happen uh, now we have uh, two th uh, things we have okay well, let's we'll change them now Paul. so let's run it again and back to the about page and see what will happen so uh, this the uh, about page will be so we have mistakes here with the image should be we should add call it about banner uh, let's go back again to settings uh, document we we'll choose about page and we can say um, yeah let's put it this under this one here we can call it uh, about and also and we'll add again media or single image uh, the banner the top of the page okay will be mandatory if I back to my uh, content about uh, I will add that banner I don't know what banner it was but let me grab something from here uh, I think it was something similar to this one So let's say this is the banner, select it, publish, and we forgot to build our uh, models. So if we go settings, model builder. So let's go back to Visual Studio. And we can add it. It should be here. About banner uh, okay and let's start again so this is the about page now what we have we have uh, the about page uh, let's say half dynamic or more uh, we have at the we have add uh, the ability to change the text and the images and as we said this stuff we will do them maybe with the menu page which I said will be a bit complicated but maybe maybe next video we can do this one uh, maybe yeah let me think about it uh, we can do uh, our shifts yeah after that we move to uh, the menu could be this one easier than that one so we'll have a bit uh, complicated stuff in the next video uh, so see you in the next video if you have any question just comment it down uh, don't scare from it it's not that uh, hard maybe I can't explain it in that easy way but if you watch it till the end I, uh, I'm sure 100% you learn how to build uh, your website with Andrago uh, see you on the next video